couple of months ago, as you guys know, we had our martingale changed by Steve at Shelter Bay Marina because we had an issue with the strand breaking. Well, unfortunately, we have another issue with our rigging and part of that is due to how Steve and his team put the rigging back together again. We were sailing close to the wind and the entire jib was shaking because the forestay was so loose that the wind was just shaking that and therefore the sail just shivered the entire time. And the second reason is because Francesco thankfully was pushing on the forestay and on the, on the cap shrouds and said, these just feel too loose to me. So we need to resolve this problem today. We thankfully bought the wrenches that we need to be able to fix this problem. When Steve put everything back together again, I asked him, are we gonna have to adjust the cap shrouds? And he said, no, we put them back exactly the way they were when we started the project. So I trusted, but I also didn't trust. I thought if something goes wrong out in the ocean, the only way that we're going to be able to turn these cap shrouds is to have wrenches that are big enough, which are two and a half inch wrenches, which, you know, you normally wouldn't have on board. So we purchased the wrenches and thankfully we did because now we need to tighten the cap shrouds and we probably need to tighten the martingale. So we're going to do that this morning. That looks flat to me, but you might see something different. That's pretty flat. That's what I think too. Aren't you glad we spent 50 bucks on wrenches? Oh, uh, yes. Boy. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Yeah. I really yeah. think we've got it right yeah, now. It's, it's Counterclockwise yeah. tightens. Okay. Okay, sleep. Good job. Okay. Great Good job. job. Ready? Yeah. Ah. Good job. Go, birthday boy! What a great way to start the birthday, huh? Yep. Yeah. Ah, yes! Okay, half a turn. Okay, ready? Ready? Yeah. Superpower! Yeah! This is a turn. Now let's go on the other side. Ah, doesn't feel much tighter. I think we need to go into turns, but let's do one turn at a time. The guys have been able to get the leeward shout one full turn. I'm gonna go counterclockwise. Okay. That way. Oh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Boy, that's easy. Oh, good job. Okay. That's wow, one good okay. job. That's one turn. Man, it's still so loose. Good job, muscle man! We just did two full turns on the cap shrouds and the force is definitely getting a little bit more taut as are the cap shrouds, but we are still not happy with it. So now we're going to do a full turn on the martingale and see if that helps. Put on the arm up. Okay, go ahead. Ooh, yeah. What do you say? Better, right? Slightly. Okay, that's tight. All right, we've done three full turns on the cap shrouds and one full turn on the martingale. Even though the forestay still seems quite loose, we're gonna give it a rest at this point and see how the rigging responds first before we do anything else. So are we gonna sail with it? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Well, I think we're out of danger at least something happening while we're doing this so improvement in the right direction it may not be as far as it needs to be maybe it is but 
uh, that improvement in the right direction could just keep our rigging right. So and moral of the story is, make sure you have the proper tools on board for rigging. Two of these, not just one. And after someone does... Listen to the Admiral. And after someone does work on your boat... Trust but verify. Yep. Thanks guys for watching our channel. We appreciate you and to show a little bit of appreciation for us because the Admiral spends hours and hours and hours of filming and also editing. It just takes forever. Those of you that have done it know. One thing we would love is just uh, if you could click that subscribe button. Also hit the like button for this video. Leave us comments and share. And the cool thing is we are doing this while we're at sea. Boats are a conveyor belt for projects. You don't know when and how they're going to pop up. And this one popped up and bit us at the last second. And we are adapting. But as the Admiral has said, you need to have your tools. Otherwise, you don't have a chance. It's been a busy, busy, busy day with Francesco's birthday. Trying to fix our rigging. The seas have been super cooperative today, flat and calm for the most part, really thankful. We're hoping to hit some of the trade winds here in the next 30 miles, so maybe by tonight we'll get into the trade winds to be able to sail, finally. What a beautiful night. You never okay. expect the middle of the ocean to be like this, right? is the start of day 10 and this is my favorite shift the six to nine where you get to see the sunrise and somehow in the middle of nowhere hundreds of miles from land we've got birds and as you can see it is dead calm you do a little bit of wind and the wind is starting to pick up <laughs> finally maybe we can actually turn the engines off today that would be really nice i think we've run them for like 120 hours already this just in 10 days we've just been chasing the wind and haven't been able to find it but today we should be getting to the point where we get the northern edge of the wind so that would be really great here's our log from the past 24 hours and we are starting day 10 making progress albeit a weird path we've done kind of a big s curve here coming out of panama down to the galapagos and now hopefully we'll be able to shoot directly east to Galapagos. Oh, there's nothing like having the engines off. It's just quiet and so peaceful. Beautiful. Finally. Ooh, he sees a rough hiding down here in the cabin. <laughs> Oh, but it's my turn to be up at helm. What a difference from when I started to right now. Oish. You got it, you big baby. Oh, you can do it. It was flat calm this morning with the wind just picking up and now we've got wind on the beam. And more so it's the waves that are the problem. The wind is not so strong. A very uncomfortable motion when the waves are on the beams. It sounds a lot worse in the cabin down below. Well, let's go all action going on. If you got up to 25 knots, <laughs> I had to call for help. Yuka came up and Whew. Save the day. Thank you, Nico. It is March 12th. It is our 11th day on the water. And we have a second day of wind. We've got a lot of wind. So we have double reefed the main and single reefed the Genoa. Waves are pretty big. The sea state is pretty unsettled. Probably three meter seas. We are getting some big waves over the side of the boat. Thankfully nothing above that, but we are moving along in between nine and 10 knots. So we are really cruising. We just passed our first international time zone change. We turn our clocks back one hour. I want you to 
check on the main okay. and see that it's coming down on okay. the second reef okay. nicely. How is it coming down now? I think you can pull down. I'm trying to do the best without having to go up wind too much. Call it again. The closer part. The seas are definitely building. Brown's trying to check on the water that we have in the tanks, how much we've got. We just double reef the main and reef the jib. Seas are building. We got storms around us. We're not out of the woods just yet. So just playing it safe and conservative. Smallest flying fish ever. He had a short life. Our pet bird is gone. I'm on poop cleaning duty. <laughs> Cleaning up after Sir Poop's a lot. He did not clean up after he left, so I have to do it so we can get more power. The wind's blowing right at me. There's a storm cell over there. So I gotta figure out how to get some water on that and start soaking the poop. And then of course it's in the worst possible position. I'm all clipped in. We got this. We got it. We got it. Yep, we got it. Wow, it's beautiful. Really taking advantage of this beautiful day. Flying the parasailer. Unfortunately, we've got a big tropical wave coming next week. So it's going to be back to rough conditions and no more parasailer. Chef has been busy. And then we have some fresh salsa. Yes. Wow. We are taking more frequent shifts because Brown is has injured his back. Cleaning up after the bird. So he is flat on his back until we I think he's ready to get back at the helm. Last night, all of us got food poisoning and had many toilet episodes, which we didn't know that the other had it until the morning. But thankfully, once it was passed through the system, it was over and didn't linger. Oh. No, not this Yuka, one. Yuka, would you like to say why you're carrying the pocket? No comment. <laughs> All of us are feeling fine now. We have had a couple of days of flying the power sail. It's been really pleasant. The sea state is fairly cooperative, I would say. A little bit confused, but not too bad. Waves are from uh, the rear quarter, not exactly behind us. And we've been flying the power sailor for two days straight, which has been great. She is so consistent, love it. Anyway, getting ready for sunset to come. We are very thankful that so far everything has been 